The AEM Infiniti ECU is legal in California only for racing vehicles, which may never be used upon a highway. Hi, this is Lawson from AEM, and I'm here with our trusty engineer slash hand model, Nathan Stewart. We're going to show you how to properly clean an Infiniti ECU. One of the many features of the Infiniti is its durability. Its sealed enclosure and IP67 rated connectors allow you to mount it just about anywhere. We've seen the Infiniti on Polaris razors that are really muddy. And when it gets this dirty and the connector gets caked with mud, dirt, and grit, when you try to unlatch it, the grit and dirt can prevent it from disconnecting and you can damage it. Let's take a look at the tools we're using. You're going to need a spray bottle with a nozzle that has enough pressure to cut through the dirt and direct a high pressure spray into certain areas. You're going to need a bristle brush to get in those hard to reach areas and sweep away the grime. Keep some paper towels handy. It's going to get messy. Finally, you're going to need some compressed air. Not required, but suggested are gloves to keep the dirt off your hands. Nate prefers purple. The first thing you want to do is get your spray bottle and direct a lot of spray in the area along the sides of the connectors and along the top where the latch is. This needs to be cleaned before we ever think of unlatching this connector. Once you get a lot of the dirt off with the spray bottle, take the brush and work the debris out of the slide areas. This is really important because the dirt in the slide areas will keep the connector from letting go of the plug and if you force it, it's going to break. You also want to get all the dirt off the latch for the same reason you want to get the dirt out of the slider areas. Okay, we're a lot cleaner now, so let's shake off that water, give it a blow with our compressed air to try and knock some more of that dirt off. All right, we've got most of the grit and the grime out of the slide areas and off the latch. So let's see if we can disconnect the connector from the plug. Super important, if at any time you feel resistance when you're trying to unlatch the connector, stop and do some more cleaning. All right, keep working that connector back and forth. Step and repeat till it slides freely. Ah, it slid loose. So now we can get ready to disconnect the harness. All right, to disconnect the harness, put a little pressure here and pull from the back. And boom, it's free. But don't turn that connector over yet. You don't want any mud or water to get into the connector. First, get your brush and give it a good brushing to get the excess crud off the connector. If the dirt's still stuck in there, you can still spray it. Just be careful to spray only the outside of the connector, spraying from the top. Now that we have all the big stuff and the mud off, we can turn it over. Do some cleaning on the underside of the connector. It's really important to be careful not to get any mud or water into the terminals. So apply a wiping motion to the outside only. Stay away from this area. Looking pretty good now, so we can set the harness aside. Now we're going to finish cleaning the infinity. Start by cleaning the side of the connector, again being careful not to get dirt in the inside of the plug. Wipe away. You can turn it upside down too. That way you can make sure nothing falls in and then wipe in a downward motion. The Infinity has two USB connectors that are IP67 rated, which is an ingress protection mar marking. Level 6 means it's entirely dustproof, and level 7 liquid ingress means it can be submerged in water up to 1 meter without water intruding on the connector. Open them up here, and you can see that they're clean. The little one's for PC communications. The large one is for logging to an external drive. These are easier to clean. But to protect the plug connector, we're installing the harness back on. Then we'll give it a good shower and finally dry it with some air. There you go. No broken connector, no damage, and a clean infinity. Thanks for watching.